Hi there, it's Wade McMaster here. In today's video, I'm going to be going through uh, Facebook Insights to just to show you how you can sort of learn a little bit more about your audience, uh, what posts are performing the best, and also when the best time is to post uh, by finding out when your audience is online. Now, uh, at the moment, some people have got the old Facebook interface, some people have the new Facebook interface. Luckily, Insights is still the same for both. So if I'm on the new interface, as you can see here, all I need to do to access Insights is I'm on my page at the moment, I head down the left here to Insights, and I just simply click on that. You see we've got here, this page hasn't been designed for Facebook.com yet. And uh, you can see we've got our insights here on this portion of the page. Now, if I switch back to the old original, uh, original, <laughs> when I switch back to the old interface, uh, it's actually a different section you want to go to. It's still called insights, but instead of being down the left here, it's actually at the top here where it says insights. So you click on that to access your insights there. Now, like I said before, once you're in this section here, it is basically identical to um, the other sections, just that the, the header here is different, you don't get the sidebar. But I'm not gonna go through the whole thing here, I just wanna show you a couple of key areas you can go to to basically figure out uh, how your page is performing. Now, this page has got a lot of fans, however, I have kind of left it a little bit and there hasn't been a ton of activity. I've actually been focusing on something else, so there's not a lot of activity here, but, you can see here actions on page in the last week there's been two uh, 80 page views uh, reached 160 people got nine page likes that sort of thing it's sort of ticking away all by itself so this overview page is pretty handy just to get a quick snapshot of how things have been going um, and you can actually change this so the last 28 days and see there's been a bit more going on here and uh, it gives you a bit of an idea and also you can see your most recent posts down the bottom but the first thing I want to look at is basically learning when your uh, audience is going to be online. So the way you do that is head down here to posts. So on the left here, we go down to posts. And you'll see we've got this little section here uh, with days. So you can see here on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, I've got basically about 7,100 to 7,200 people online during those days, with Saturday being the lowest, which being a bit more of an entertainment type uh, web, uh, sorry, Facebook page with martial arts movies, I'm surprised about that. But it's really handy because you can see we've got the time down the bottom here, 3 a.m., 6 a.m., and 9 a.m. It looks like, according to the average, this sort of average down the bottom here, it starts to climb at 3 and hits its peak at 6 through to 9 a.m. And that is Pacific in Pacific time zone. So you can check your time zone at the top there. So you get this nice little average, but if you hover over each individual day, you can see the line appear and change. So it's essentially the same from day to day. Not identical, but essentially more or less the same. Uh, data is shown for the recent one week period, although whenever I check this, it's basically the same. So um, that's basically you can find out when the best time to post is. So between 6 a.m. and 9 a.m. is pretty much going to be your best time, my best time to post on this page. Now your page might be different, but this, uh, that's why they have these analytics, so you can go through and check this out for yourself. Now, what's also cool about this is I can go through and see all my recent posts. Now this is a great way to actually see what is performing and what isn't. You can see, okay, so my top performing posts are these ones here. We've got one here, which is on, uh, I believe it's on Bruce Lee. I can check that one out if I want to. Uh, so the ones that performed the highest, 1.4, 1.4, 1.1. We can see basically what they're themed around. And the other thing, which is also really handy, is you can see the media type. You'll notice that the links, if I hover over these little link icons here, they don't perform as well as photos. Although this link did perform pretty well. Um, it's a bit of an anomaly, that one. But you can see here, this photo, this video shared, shared actually worked out really well. Uh, you can see that we're looking at photos and videos are pretty much our main uh, performers here. And uh, that way you can actually go through and really sort of assess everything and figure out what not only what people are responding the best to in terms of the topic by just sort of taking a look at what has been performing the best, but also the best way to deliver it, whether it be a link to a blog or maybe an image. Actually, one of these images, I believe, is uh, a, a link to a post 
in which it asks the question, which is, what is this Eco Waste film? The answer is here, with a link to a movie review revealing which movie it is he's in. So there are creative ways to get links to your posts uh, or your website without actually having to just share a straight up link. So um, that's one way of looking at uh, that section down the bottom there. And you see here on the post types, it's the same thing again. Um, because I've only posted links on this page recently, you can see the reach here. But you've got that same information down the bottom here. We can see more though. We can go a bit further into this and uh, see how it's all, basically see how it's working. So you can also, uh, there's a few options here you can play with, but uh, reactions, comments, shares. So post clicks, um, That's you can basically play around with that. So we've got post hides. So we've had one person basically hide this one, one person hide this one. So it shows you also some of the negative actions. There's been hardly any on this page, but uh, you know you can go through and check out your bits and pieces. So the full engagement right here. Uh, so yeah, you've got some options there to find out more information, reactions, comments, and even shares. So there's been 14 shares here for this post, which would be why it performed so well. Uh, yeah, and that sort of thing. So it's pretty handy to see how your posts are performing. Now what's also really interesting is you can go to top posts from pages you watch. So you can go and add pages up here quite easily. So maybe we've got, um, maybe it'll actually, so here we go, it's actually a recommended one here. Um, add that one there. Well, it's the exact same page in there twice. But um, yeah, you can search for a page, maybe I'll go for an actor who's on here. So let's go put that on there. Close that one down. And you can see what the top performing posts are for pages that I watch. Now this isn't really relevant to my page. It's just an actor who's actually someone who is in some of the movies I review, but it's not the exact same thing because these other pages are almost identical. They're movie review, movie discussion websites. But it's good because you can see what's been performing best. So you can see here this uh, martial arts demo has worked pretty well for Kung Fu Kingdom. Whereas this uh, One Night in Bangkok uh, post here has not worked too well for Buddha mate, who also does have a pretty decent sized following. So that's how you can learn a little bit about under posts, when your fans are actually online, and then of course, what how everything has been performing with your blog posts, and that way you can sort of weigh things up and work on improving your blog posts. So picking a time, trying to work out the best time to post, seeing what topic is working for you, seeing what form of media works for you, and then basically trying to aim for the peak of those three things or sort of like finding the the point where those three things meet and basically posting from there. Now there's a few other areas you can go to. We can head down to people and this is where you get some sort of demographics of your fans. So you see here martial arts movies 11% of my fan base are women and 89 are men and across over here I can see that 37 percent are aged 25 to 34 but what's also interesting is that uh, if you take a look it's not just that one age group the simple fact is we've got people either side of that age group that it's actually quite interesting as well so pretty much people between the ages of 18 and 44 are interested in the sort of information that I put out there. So that's actually also handy to know if there's any sort of references, like if you're referencing something that, um, you know, people on their, in their 50s or 60s often reference, but not in this age group, you sort of get the idea. It's where it's worth sort of keeping it within a certain age group. Now also you can scan down and see language. So on the right here with the language, so most of my fans are sort of speaking English. The next biggest, or, audience is actually French and it's Spanish because everything I do is in English this makes perfect sense but also here you got your uh, sort of location so you've got cities down the right here which I think is less interesting than country um, I'm not too concerned about cities but uh, country is pretty handy because it shows you for one so the United States is where most of my fans are but the next funny uh, bit of information is the Philippines, India, and Pakistan are actually the next most popular countries in my fan base. So that's also worth noting because it's not just about basically advertising to Americans or even people in the UK. I'm actually from Australia and there is hardly anyone on here from Australia. So that's a pretty funny one. But you can find out what country they're from. And this is another way you can slowly start to fine tune what it is you're talking about. You can even try to follow trends if you want to and um, you know, based on what country you're following and go from there. So this is our fans, they have followers. People actually follow your site, 
going to be more or less the same. I mean, the layout's the same. The information may be slightly different if people don't actually follow you, if they like your page but not follow you. And then, of course, it just keeps going from there. So people reached. So this is actually to do with uh, people who your content has actually reached in their feed, not just fans or followers. So you know, so I've actually reached more people in the Philippines, more than basically triple what I have in the States. So it goes to show you that my, my top fan base is actually in the Philippines. So it's actually quite interesting the way that works too. But we can see here the age groups are even more defined in that 25 to 34 age bracket for people I've actually reached. So uh, that's a, another handy uh, bit of information as well. And now people who have engaged, this information is not available at the moment, unfortunately, but this is people who have actually engaged with your posts. Because I haven't been active, there may not be enough data here for this particular page, but it shows you who's actually interacting. So if you decide to cater to those people a bit more by understanding their demographics, you can also use the information found here to do that. Now, there's more information here under followers. This is a little, uh, now we're starting to get more towards just the stat side of things, not so much information about your audience, but you can see I can choose a time period up here, so from May through to July. Total page followers of, as of today is 10,978. And I can see here how many people have unfollowed, how many people have followed. Uh, and also if I had run ads, how many would be uh, paid. There's no dark sort of, uh, sort of spikes here, so it's actually just all organic followers. And also where they happen from. Someone's from search, someone does a search and they find me in there. That's where a lot of these followers are coming from. And then uncategorized, obviously, uh, I guess could be just that they simply land on the page or maybe they follow from a website, I'm not too sure. Uh, on your page itself, so they land on my page, follow from the page itself, you get the idea. You can actually track where people are finding you most. So if you find, like I am, most people finding me in search, my name is pretty keyword centric. The page is called Martial Arts Action Movie. So it's, if you do a search and you're looking for martial arts movies, that page is gonna show up. Uh, pretty well and because it's been around for a long time and got a decent sized fan base it shows up and the same thing happens again for likes number of page likes same sort of information as before um, restored likes from reactivated accounts it's pretty interesting so people have reopened their Facebook accounts but uh, yeah that's basically that those are sort of some of your key areas there's a lot more to go into insights is actually a very very in-depth um, sort of section you can learn a lot about your uh, audience and about your page but those few insights will help you to improve what you're posting on Facebook like I said before for me most of the best the most of the useful information obviously a little bit of the demographics but more I'm more concerned with tracking the actual activity what I'm doing what's working and what's not so going into posts is probably where you're going to find most of the valuable information if you're trying to reach more people with your Facebook posts. Like I said, I'll be posting here between six to nine. The highest day at the moment is actually Tuesday, so I'd probably post on Tuesdays. And then of course I'd post more images about these sorts of topics. So. Yeah, I hope you found that useful. Uh, if you do want more uh, information like this about Facebook or Facebook Insights, I'm not an expert, but I do know a little bit about it. And uh, if you've got any particular bits of information, I can find out a bit more as well and uh, do up some videos for you. So uh, yeah, if you like the video, please give it a like, give it a thumbs up. If you want more videos like this, please leave a comment. Let me know what you're after. And also don't forget to subscribe to see more pop up in your recommendations. So thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later.